Hi students, today in this session we are going to discuss how to calculate the number of atoms per unit cell. So before going to that, if you are first time to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon. So now, how to calculate the number of atoms per unit cell? So here, a unit cell means the smallest repeated pattern from which a crystal lattice is developed. So there are mainly three types of unit cells are there. Here I am giving you the three types. This is simple unit cell. Here in simple unit cell, the lattice points that means the atoms or ions are present at the corners only. So this is the simple unit cell. So in this simple unit cell, the lattice points are present at the <coughs> corners only. So, whereas in case of body centered cubic cell, so in this unit cell, so the unit cell means the smallest repeated pattern from which a crystal lattice is developed. So, this is a unit cell. So, in this body centered cubic structure, the lattice points are present at the corners. Here, the corners and also present at the center of the body. So, this is body centered cubic structure. Okay. In case of simple cube, only the lattice points are present at the corners, but in case of body centered cubic structures, so in addition to this, a lattice point is present at the center of the body. So, here each lattice point consists of an atom or ion. Suppose if it is an ionic crystal, so each lattice point consists of one ion. If it is covalent crystal then each lattice point consists of an atom okay so now this is body centered cubic structure cubic unit cell and next one face centered cubic unit cell face centered cubic unit cell this is face centered cubic unit cell face centered cubic structure so, in this face centered cubic structure also, the lattice points are present at the corners. The lattice points are present at the corners. In addition to this, the lattice points are present at the center of each face. Face centered means those are present at the center of each face. So, a cube has six faces. So, here it is the bottom face, the center of the bottom face. This is right side face, the center of the right face. This is left face, center of the left face and this is the top face, center of the top face. And next one, this is the back face, back face. So, center of the back face means this one and this is the front face. So, center of the front face means this one. So, in this way, the lattice points are present at the corners and also at the center of the faces. So, that is called face centered cubic structure. So, all these are the unit cells. So, now we have to calculate the number of atoms present per each unit cell. So, here it seems to be consists of 8 atoms in this unit cell, but really these 8 atoms are not present in the simple cube because so in any crystal lattice the unit cells are arranged in a regular 3 dimensional arrangement. That means the infinite number of these unit cells join together to form a crystal lattice. So, while joining, so this cube is again connected with another cube in this direction. So, this cube is again connected with another cube in this direction. So, in this way, three dimensionally all the cubes are arranged. So, while ar arranging these unit cells in three dimensional space, so this point belongs to how many cubes? We have to consider like that. So, this lattice point belongs to how many cubes? Okay. So, this cornered atoms touches how many simple unit cells in a crystal lattice and next one this is the body centered atom. So, this body centered atom belongs to how many unit cells. So, here also this is face centered atom. So, this face centered atoms belongs to how many unit cells in a crystal lattice. So, now let us check those one. So, here it is a simple cube, Sim cube means all sides are equal. So, here all sides are equal. So, that is why it is a cube. So, in this cube, we have to consider this cornered atom. So, this is the cornered atom. 
this cornered atom while arranging three dimensional unit cell this cornered atom touches how many unit cells so if you place another cube here so this cornered atom touches this cube also if you kept another cube above this cube above this cube so here four cubes touches this atom okay this one and next to this this one and above this cube and above this cube so four cubes touches this atom and next one so if you place another cube here if you place another cube here so this cube also touches this atom and another cube here also this cube also touches this atom so another cube above this cube also touches this atom so again another cube above this cube also touches this atom okay so in this way how many cubes touches this atom 1 2 above this 2 total 4 here also 4 total 8 so 4 plus 4 8 so total 8 unit cells touches this atom that means this atom is shared by 8 cubes okay this atom is shared by 8 cubes that means this atom belongs to this cube so the uh, the number of atoms present per this unit cell is equal to how much since this atom is shared by 8 cubes that means the number of atoms present per this cell means 1 by 8 isn't it so here the number of atoms present per unit cell we have to consider like that so here this unit cell sorry this lattice point touches 8 cubes so the contribution of this unit cell for this cube is equal to 1 by 8 only okay so how many lattice points are there like this total 8 lattice points are there that means 8 atoms are present here okay so 1 by 8 into 8 so that is equal to 1 so the number of atoms per this unit cell is equal to 1 so here it can be indicated with z so z is equal to number of atoms per unit cell so here the number of atoms per unit cell is equal to 1 only okay clear so here z is equal to 1 and in case of bcc so for bcc there exist eight lattice point at eight corners so here the contribution will be for body centered cubic structure 1 by 8 into here also eight corners are there along with this there is a lattice point which is present at the center of the body so this lattice point belongs to this cube only okay this lattice point belongs to itself this cube only so this lattice point does not touches with any other cube because this is present at the center of the body okay so that's why here the contribution will be 1 so by adding these two we get z is equal to 1 plus 1 so that equal to 2 so for body centered cubic structure z will be 2 and next in case of face centered cubic structure so in case of this one so here also cornered atoms are there so the contribution for cornered atoms is again 1 by 8 into 8 okay this lattice point is belongs to 8 cubes so that's why the contribution of this lattice point for this unit cell is equal to 1 by 8 okay and totally eight cornered atoms are there so 1 by 8 into 8 and next so along with these cornered atoms there exists face centered atoms so here it is the face so face centered atoms are there so in a crystal lattice so this face touches how many unit cells suppose if it is there here this cube touches with next cube okay so this face centered atom touches with next cube only but it does not touches with any other cubes above this or above this or besides this and besides this also okay so this face centered atom touches only one cube that means this atom is shared by two cubes that is two unit cells okay the face centered atom is shared by two cubes only so that's why the contribution of this face centered atom for this cube is equal to half only okay so that is half only and how many face centered atoms are there there are six faces are there for any cube there are 
fix phase, six phases. So, among the six phases, so each phase contribution is half. So, totally 1 by 2 into 6. So, that means 1 plus 3. So, that equal to 4. So, therefore, here z equal to 4. Okay. So, in this way, for in case of simple cubic cell, the z value is equal to 1. In case of body centered cubic structure, z equal to 2 and for face centered cubic structure, z equal to 4. So, here if you consider the cubic close packing or hexagonal close packing. So, in case of cubic close packing or hexagonal close packing, remember cubic close packing or hexagonal close packing, the arrangement of atoms in these two resembles the face centered cubic structure. So, that is why for these two also the effective number that is z equal to 4 only. Remember this point for cubic close packing or hexagonal close packing the z value is equal to 4. Okay. So, here for simple cube the number of atoms present is 1 for BCC 2 for FCC 4. That means, here the number of atoms present per this cube is less very less. Okay. The remaining space is empty. Okay. Observe carefully. The remaining space is empty. That means, the percentage efficiency will be very less for simple cube. So, basing on this, we have to calculate the how much space is occupied by the atoms and how much space is occupied, the empty, occupied by the empty space. So, the space, the empty space is called voids. Okay. The percentage of void and the percentage efficiency of atoms. So, we have to calculate the percentage efficiency of atoms. So, while calculating the percentage efficiency of atoms for the simple cube or body centered or FCC center FCC, we have to know z value. So, if you observe this, so the simple cube consists of very less number of atoms. That means, the efficiency will be less here. The percentage efficiency for simple cube will be very less here. So, if you consider body centered, so, here one atom is more. So, that is why somewhat more will be there. The percentage efficiency will be more here. So, if you consider this one, the percentage efficiency of atoms will be more here. So, we will calculate those percentage efficiency that is called packing efficiency. We will discuss about that packing efficiency in the next class. So, I will give you the values only here. So, here for simple cube, the percentage efficiency will be for simple cube, it will be 52.4 percent. For body centered cubic structure, it will be 68 percent body centered cubic. For face centered cubic structure, it will be 74 percent. So, here it is gradually increasing, is not it? So, why it is gradually increasing? Due to increasing number of atoms per unit cell. Okay? Okay, thank you. I hope this way you like this video. For getting more videos like this, please subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon. Now, here is a small question for you. A cube consists of how many edges? Please comment me the answer in comment box. Okay. A cube, here it is a cube. This cube consists of how many edges? Okay. So, please comment me the answer in comment box. Thank you.